this fall, the Sims team is going to have us hustling and bustling because we're getting two new packs, one stuff pack and one expansion pack. And you guys know the only place to get them is on Instant Gaming. Stop paying full price for Sims packs and head on over to Instant Gaming to save some money. Get all the packs you want for more than half off. And yes, you can save some money if you're a console player too. The link is in the description and thank you Instant Gaming for sponsoring the channel. Hello LOLers, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and welcome back to another episode of Living Single. So we're back on season two and this is episode two of season two. If you haven't seen the previous episode, make sure you check it out right now. There's a link right there in the corner and there's also a link in the description. There's also a link to the entire playlist. So if this is your first time watching Living Single or any one of my videos in general, make sure you check it out. I'm so excited to be back playing. And as you guys can see by the title and by the freeze frame, we're here with Miss Paisley and Milan. And we're eating breakfast. Y'all know I always love to start off my game early in the morning but honestly though i had to because we have a full day ahead of us okay by the way the game you know i don't know they made milan look like she's related to ty dollar sign so if her eyes scare you today just just ignore okay we will fix it in the next episode but as you guys can see we're sitting in our new apartment in my ari lennox voice this is how it's looking. Here's a little sneak peek of the living room. So I know you guys are wondering where we're living at. And bitch, bitch, we're living in the boonies. What a downgrade, am I right? Like you go from living in that high rise apartment in the city to, to this and Evergreen Harbor. Y'all, we're literally living in the ghetto. Quite literally. I'm not even like joking. I'm not exaggerating. Literally, this is Marquise's gang HQ. So right from our balcony, we can see all the gang activity that goes on over here. And there's also some gang members and some families that live over here. Girl, it's just, yeah, it's a lot, okay? But anyway, welcome to Evergreen Harbor, bitch. Well, in my game at least, okay? <laughs> in my game, here's how like the lore of my game goes right obviously delso valley is is la you know it's it's that girl she's her girl where are you going hello oh well period mama um i'm just gonna have her i don't know she can just do whatever she here play with your baby <laughs> i don't know girl do something okay i'm gonna have oh well here's the baby right here <laughs> I forgot that this is how this damn mod works, bitch. I truly forgot. Well, girl, Milan's a mother. Don't say nothing to her. But yeah, I'm gonna just have her like play with her, her toys over here. And I wanted Paisley to come in her room. Also, I'm so rude. Like I didn't do a house tour. Like, hello, can I act like I've been here before? Acting like I was raised in a barn, okay? So first of all, I just wanna say shout out to the tool mod. I'm going to keep banging the tool mod over and over again until y'all finally download it. Like, y'all see this original ugly ass door? Y'all see my door? I even put a ring doorbell in front of my apartment, bitch. You need the tool mod. Also, like, before I get started on this tour, the balcony's not finished, by the way, okay? It's hard to do because I can't edit it in build by mode. For some reason, it's not a part of the apartment. Like, EA, get your shit together. Get on your zoom anyway i put this here with the tool mod y'all that's why i'm saying you guys need the tool mod like you see your sims can literally use shit that they never been able to use before because the tool mod okay but anyway let's get in to this little apartment tour because my girl was homeless last episode and we was kiki okay but i mean we're still kiki because girl you're living in the trenchianas but mm, you know it's it's better than being homeless so what can we say but we're going to have a very uh, short house tour because, uh, you know, there's there's not much ground to cover. So <laughs> when you walk in, here is the living room. Now, I know we live in Evergreen Harbor and I know we live in the boonies, bitch. But, okay, like I said, I have lore in my game. Also, Milan need to throw her fruit snacks wrappers away. 
And that's exactly why I'm shipping her off to her daddy today. But yeah, the lore in my game is that, you know, Del Sol Valley, she's obviously her. She's that girl. LA, the place where your dreams go to live or die or whatever, girl. I don't know whatever the fuck they be saying about LA, girl. But anyway, so San Myshuno, Evergreen Harbor, and Windenburg, they're all like connected. This is my lore. This is my game, okay? So evergreen harbor is like it's like the bad part of town you know like the low income part of the town you know she's her because some of the best people come from where roses grow out of the concrete you feel me but also it's just like you know let's be real we're all trying to get about this bitch you feel me so san maishuno is like an upgrade you know just like new york city you know there's the bad parts and there's the good parts. there's the good parts like where mariah lives uptown and then there's the okay parts like uh I don't know where Mercedes and Devin used to live, you know, when City Girls first started. Then we have Windsenburg, which is like, I don't know, it's kind of like uptown. Like it has a city feel, but it's kind of like old timey, but you know, it's not. And yeah, that's the lore of my game. Back to the lore. So since Evergreen Harbor is like, it's not the best place to live. Obviously, we have gentrification and gentrifiers around here. I mean, you know art reflects real life okay so paisley got her a little renovated apartment this apartment used to be real ugly and busted but you know they gave us some new cabinets a new kitchen we're looking spiffy okay and rent is very cheap which is why we're able to live here so mind your fucking business like i said kitchen very simple there's there's literally not much to look at, bitch. But this is like a small espresso maker. I'm gonna leave a link in the description just in case your Sims wanna drink espresso like mine, but you don't wanna use that big ass espresso machine. Like, what is the Sims deal? They're always trying to make us use these fucking clunky ass appliances. In here, this is the bathroom. Welcome to El Baño. I don't know, I wanted to try like a different layout for my bathroom this time. I feel like I always do the same layout now look right i don't know if these washers and dryers work because i kind of put them in the cabinets you know we won't know until we try so i guess we're gonna find out today bitch okay but yeah pretty standard bathroom honestly i love this bathroom like i'm kind of jealous um hey paisley in here is milan's room she's playing with her toys so i didn't do milan's room as well as i normally would because we're about to age her up Probably, I want to age Milan up maybe in like, ooh, maybe in like uh, October, November-ish. I want to age her up in October, but I kind of have a list of videos I want to get done in October, so I don't know if we'll get there. If we do, though, yay. If we don't, then definitely November. Since she's going to age up soon, I didn't want to like spend too much time on her room and then all of our progress is gone because she's going to be a kid. And obviously, when she's a kid, she won't have a lot of this stuff anymore you know but still i feel like it's pretty pretty standard and i think her room here is bigger than at mariah's house i'm i'm not sure though so don't quote me on that i don't know i i don't have good spatial recognition so don't quote me on that actually just just forget i said anything for real, for real. and then last but not least we have miss paisley's room which is so dark for some odd reason i don't know why but yeah welcome we got our shark lock boots because we're bad bitches, period. This is our school bag. Because like I said, we're bad bitches, period. Of course, Paisley has to have her, her collection of purses. Sadly, she doesn't have all her purses that she had back in her walk-in closet at the apartment in San Myshuno. They're in storage right now because she doesn't have any space to put them. Just know my girl gonna be up soon, okay? But yeah, that's our apartment tour. Let me know if you guys liked it but while milan is doing her little well i don't know she's just playing girl sit back down see this is what i be talking about hmm? what's the point of turning autonomy off if your ugly ass is just gonna get right back up when i tell you to sit down it's like no you're not ugly you're cute but it's just like don't piss me off anyway we're about to write in our journal because we're about to hashtag manifest period like, Paisley's down in the dumps. I don't know if I if you guys know this, but Paisley is from Evergreen Harbor. The boonies, they're nothing new to Paisley. But she did not think this is where her ass would end back up, okay? Once she left Evergreen Harbor, she was supposed to never look back. And now here she go in a little rinky-dink apartment. 
right back in the city she told herself she would never come back to okay so today we're manifesting because this just can't be it for her whenever you reach rock bottom it's because there's only one way to go to the top so paisley's on her way to the top so we're gonna call this manifestations i feel like i had her do this before i don't know i'm having deja vu maybe i did have her do this before if i did then she sucks at manifesting so we're gonna try again though. maybe this time the sim gods will listen to her this time maybe she was good or something i don't know i don't know what she's been doing while i was gone my number one manifestation i will graduate and earn my degree wait i feel like i did do this before i'm trying to press enter to you know go down the next line and I'm getting pissed off. And I, I think I remember being pissed off at this before. So two, I will land a major acting role that will change the trajectory of my life. Three, I will leave Evergreen Harbor for good this time. Four, Milan and I will never want for anything ever again. Period, mama. Now, we gotta make them come true. Alexa, play Just Like Magic by Ariana Grande. But good, we wrote in our manifestation journal. I'm actually... Oh, damn, I wanted to have her, like, uh, enroll for classes, but I forgot Mariah has her laptop. So, actually, I'm going to have Paisley work out because she has to maintain her BBL, but um, sadly, she lost her gym membership at Equinox. I know she doesn't have a job right now. So, we have to, we have to downscale. And see, this is why I hate Evergreen Harbor. Like, it's always some weird bitches knocking at your door. But hold on, let me change my outfit real quick so paisley actually has family out here we're not gonna meet them today though we'll meet them in another episode her cousin lives out here well her and her cousin not that cool but she actually has no friends for real for real. now that her and mariah aren't friends and now that she's back in town she need to know what the moves are so i guess we'll hit her cousin up and her cousin has like a, a son so i guess milan will meet her cousin and they'll have like a little a little play date or whatever. Milan, what you doing with the baby, hmm? The baby just on my girl chest. Like, I can't hear feed her. Uh, don't trip now. Wait, how you got the baby on your chest and that? She's a mother for real, y'all. Okay, look at her. Single mother. Someone help her out, seriously. <laughs> no, is she just, she looked like she was born for this. Whoa, wait, wait, Paisley has failed to pay their loans one too many times. The bank has sent professionals to repro, <gasps> no, stop. Wait, I just got here. Wait, how you gonna repossess my shit? I just moved here. I just moved here. Wait, stop. No, don't repossess anything. Wait, hold on, I'm locking my door. Wait, stop. <laughs> no trespassing. I don't think this gonna work, but look. I'd be damned if I don't try, okay? They ain't just gonna come up in here and take my shit. But hold on, let me put this away. Like, damn, and my daughter gotta go to her daddy house soon, too. Like, fuck, bruh. Damn. I wonder when this repo person coming. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, but let me do an experiment real quick. Let me see if my washer works. We won't see it today. I guess while we wait for the repo man to come, if he does come. I hope he doesn't, though. Like, that, I'm not manifesting that. That was not in the manifestation journal. You feel me? <laughs> like, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, it don't work. No! How could they? Here, let me see. Do it work? Oh, wait, it might work. OMG. Oh, no, it doesn't. Ah, how rude. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, let me take a shower real quick. Oh, I should have called Mick Moss to come over while I shower. But it's okay, I'll call him after. But yeah, I'm about to get rid of my daughter. It's like, nah. When you, when you say it like that, it's mean, but. Okay, but like, when has Mick Moss. Oh, what happened to the water? 
Hello? Girl? Uh, okay? Well, anyway. But, like, like I was saying, when has Mikmas ever taken Milan? Never. So, actually, I don't feel bad. Come, come get your child. Now. Now. Alright, I'm gonna invite him over, though. Um, let's see. Her man is about to come over today. She needs some leaven. She ain't getting no dick in a long time. She needs it. So, yes, we will be on the uncut version today. Period. Because we're grown and sexy. But Mick Moss is on his way to come scoop his shot. Oh, wait, I should pack her a baby bag. But it's like he should have stuff for her at his house. Like, why I got to pack her a bag? And here he go walking all slow. And he better be sober. Here, let me let him in. Come on, Mikmas. Come in. Oh, here he go. No, you're not. No, see, he already cussing at the door, walking past me. Like, this why we don't be doing this co-parenting shit. You feel me? Here, let me just keep it cute. We're going to do a cheerful. Oh, he's enraged. At oh, he came to argue. Oh, bet. Because, actually, I've been wondering where my child support at. Because if you gave me my child support on time, I wouldn't be living in this little rinky-dink shack. Oh, oh whoa! Oh! oh. McMoss! That's how you're rolling, friend? That's how you're rolling? Whoa! Oh, good thing Milan was in her room. Look, she just pushing that baby in the stroller. She don't even know what's going on about here. And now you crying. Now you cry. Y'all, it's giving Coke Brown. It's giving Coke Brown. From the Coke to the putting the hands on woman to the crying like a victim. All he need is to start dancing. Nah, like I'm finna ask Mick what his problem is. Cause like, no, really, what's the issue? Like you just came up in here, you started cussing, you pushing people down. I don't even know. Hey, this drama isn't my fault, at least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happened between us. So you acting like that because I broke it off with you? Hello? Y'all, why is he flirting with me now? Like, what's up with that? After he done pissed me off. Oh, the Repo Man! Oh, no, no, it's not. That's not him. It's the Nap Inspector. Girl, I don't care. And I'm still ignoring their ass. But girl, don't flirt with him. Y'all, she flirting back. She getting flirty. Oh, my God, bitch. He just pushed you down. You was just on the ground. This my new neighbor. Oh, oh hell no. I ain't, I am not answering. See, this is exactly why Paisley moved out. All these weirdos at my girl door. Like, I can't. I can't. Oh, Milan and Mick. Huh, what y'all talking about? Say nonsense, nothing. Literally not talking about nothing. Yep, you better go with your daddy. So bring that little baby with you. Yep. Bring your granddaughter with you, Mick. Aw, look at them. Well, let me ask him for some money. That's my baby daddy. I can ask for money. Aw, look at them. They're so cute. Oh, he gave me some money. No, that wasn't enough, but it'll do, I guess. Just get on up out of here. I don't know why it won't let me have select Mick Moss as like spend weekend with, but I think maybe if I make him leave, I wonder if it will put him there. Cause why, why isn't he up here? I don't like that. Especially cause I done brought him all the way up here. But y'all look, the repo man, he all bark, no bite. Cause look at me. I still got all my shit. So yeah. All right. Yeah. He had to leave. That's so ghetto. That's ghetto as hell. But okay. I guess he gonna come back. And come get his daughter. He need to hurry up. 
Oh man, looks like I missed you. Modern development. I don't trust this guy. Like he gives like the people who knock on your door trying to sell you Xfinity, you know? Wait, you gonna have my baby meet you down there? You're not gonna come get her? Oh my God. And this is who I'm leaving my daughter with y'all for a couple days. It's okay. As soon as I'm finished with school, I'm coming back to get my daughter. Don't worry. Anyway, now that like that's all taken care of, let me get ready because Paisley better have a hot, a hot night tonight. Her man's coming. Hello, your daughter's gone. She already left, so you can leave too. Why is he coming in here? I'm, what's going on? Yeah, bye. Get out of here. Fuck. He think because he gave me some money, he gonna get some pussy. Like, no, negative, boo. Negative. Oh, Paisley, we should try to make him like a special dinner. Yep, he gonna come. He will come to like a, a home cooked dinner. Let's see, what do we even know how to make stuff? Not come home like he live here. Her little rinky dink apartment. It's crazy because she over here making him little five star meals in this little rinky dink apartment. And he got a mansion that he did not offer to move her into. So, oh, also, so look, right, I was going to do another machinima for this episode of Living Single, but I wanted to drop at least one episode for September. And today is the last day of September. So here I am, but. I'm not going to have enough time to do the machinima how I want to. So next episode, we're definitely going to have one. And I think the events today will end up developing into a better lead up to the next machinima. Okay. Because y'all, some stuff happened in my game. Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see next episode. All right. I, I ain't going to spoil it too much. But let's see. Gourmet cooking. Do I need gourmet cooking skill? I ain't got none of that. Well, I don't know. I'm feeling confident today. So... Fuck it, lay it on me. I'm making prime rib and buttery mash. Yep. I am one man. I don't know. What's how the rest of the song go? I don't know, but just know I'm her. Wait. Hello? What's going on? Girl. Wait, I can't cook. Oh my god, it's so ghetto in here, y'all. It's it's just the ghetto. The ghetto just it just never stops, you know? Let me see if I move it. If it'll work. Cuz it was working before. She made something earlier. Damn. Y'all, they hate seeing bad bit bro. Like I can't I can't do shit in this game. Actually, fuck it. The catering co. I'm going to, oh, Ruth Chris. Yep. I'm going to act like I cooked it. Yep. Look, prime rib, buttery mash. Here we go, bitch. Ah! And some shrimp cake with chive creme fresh. I don't know whatever the fuck they talking about over there, but period. Period. Ruth Chris on the way. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to act like I cooked it myself. And let's get a bottle, of course. Duh. Like, would it be a special night without a bottle? It wouldn't. We're going to get champagne, of course. Mm-hmm. And, oh, we need music. I don't have any music over here. Let me get some real quick. All right, I put a speaker over here. Milan did not clean her little trash up before she left. Oh, here, let me clean it up. And I think I want to get Milan a pet, probably when she comes back. Because, you know what I realized? Milan don't know any other, like, people her age. Mm, it's giving the grandma the baby, but not really. Because Paisley don't talk to her mom like that. That's why Mariah and Paisley cool. Because they both got mommy issues. But we'll get into that in another day. Oh, look at our neighbor. But okay, the Ruth Chris is here, y'all. Shout out to Ruth Chris. Let me go in. And, ooh, let me, let me freshen up before my boo come. You know, let me take me a steamy shower. I wish I could take a bath, but I can't. Y'all, I feel so fancy. Like, we got champagne. We got Ruth Chris. Oh. She said, yeah, I may live in Evergreen Harbor, but... Still eating good, bitch. Oh, let me dim the lights, too. 
let's see how we can do this huh let me turn off this room and wait i kind of want these to be on and then damn i need like some dimmer lights over here this light i should have got her some candles it's okay though because it's not really dark yet you know it don't get dark till like late because it's summer but it's about to be seven o'clock so my man he need to be on his way let me call him first tell him to come Oh shit, hold on. Let me hide the uh, Ruth Chris bag, y'all. Like, blowing my cover and shit. Damn. Oh, my boo's here. Why are you walking like that? And where his shoes at? Okay. <laughs> this who you fucking? Hmm, the shirtless guy? I mean, the shoeless guy? But hold on. He's here. Let me get cute real quick. Damn, I have something, but like her titties might be out. So, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna just wear my robe. Let me meet him at the door. Where's he going? Did he just knock on my door and leave? Where's he going? <laughs> Bitch, did he just leave? Oh my God. Oh my God. No, this did not just happen to me. No, this did not just happen to me. Where are you going? Hello? Y'all, he's leaving! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! I'm child free. I ain't got no panties, no bra on. I ordered Ruth Chris. This shit was exp Look at this, huh? Look at this shit. I got you two things from Ruth Chris. Champagne, red lights. Huh? This is how you treat me? This is how I get treated, y'all. Where are you even going? I don't know where he's going, but he's he doesn't want to be with me. Wow, you know what? you let me yeah i'm gonna girl i don't care you better find a way you better f grab a drink do something okay i'm stressed out huh i ain't got no best friend my baby daddy he does whatever the hell he does do i even have a boyfriend at this point bitch like honestly i don't know i'm not entirely sure it's giving very much single Giving very much booty call, very much on call pussy. And Paisley thought it was more than that, but I guess not. He can't even spend the evening with her. Like, who are you spending the evening with if not with her? But anyway, y'all, that's the end of episode two of season two of Living Single. I don't know. Is this like episode 22 in total or something? I don't know, girl. Mm. Oop, it's getting confusing. But anyway, next episode, I will definitely be back with a machinima. And it's going to be really good, I promise. Okay, you guys. Damn, I really wanted an uncut version on the Patreon, but it's not given that. So. <laughs> but if you want to watch any of my past videos with uncut versions, or if you just want to watch any of my videos with no ads, ad-free, you want to support the girl. I'm trying to get a new mic and just, you know, do other stuff. Somebody said on my machinima, they were like, yeah, I wish you had voice actors. I'm like, oh, okay. If you want voice actors, y'all could pledge to the Patreon, okay? We need to hire these some voice actors. So let's get it, okay, y'all? So yeah, any pledge towards the Patreon helps your girl a lot, okay? It helps me pay for animations for machinimas because, bitch, animations are like $8 out here now, okay? I'd be spending like $50 just to make a machinima, y'all, but it's okay. It's worth it. And thankfully, I have loving and supportive Patreons who support me and allow me to create my vision to entertain you guys so thank you guys so much for all your support i love you guys and i will see you next time with another episode of living single okay stay tuned love you bye